So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at Unreal Engine 4.26's volumetric clouds. Now, this is one of the features that I was actually really excited about because I think this is by far the easiest way to generate CG clouds. So that being said, uh, the scene you're looking at here was a free download. I'm going to press G to get rid of the icons. This is a free download from, I think, October or November from the Epic uh, marketplace so this is the 3d scene we're working in uh, i did remove all the lights so it is dark because i wanted to show you guys how to set this up from scratch so the first thing we are going to need obviously we need some lights so let's go ahead and create a sun now we're creating a directional light because i'm going to show you real quick if i move this up and i'm gonna press g to bring that thing back we're going to create a directional light because you can actually rotate this around and you're going to see why that's very important here in a second. Now, the first thing we are going to create is a sphere or a atmosphere, sphere of atmosphere, sky. Drag that down and let's go ahead and just kind of bring it up so you can kind of see it. And then what we're going to do is go back to our directional light and then we're going to go to its properties right here and then go to the details. And if you scroll down, you're going to see a tick box right about here atmosphere sun and light and boom there you go that just creates a little sky for you obviously there's no clouds yet so i'm gonna go ahead and press e and i'm gonna rotate this so you can kind of see why we created a directional light because you're actually moving the sun let's see if we can find the sun where are you at sun right there so i'm gonna go right there and you're actually moving that sun by just using this and that's really helpful uh, because if you want to change the look of the clouds, you have to move the sun in real life, theoretically, right? So uh, that being said, let's go ahead and add this baby in there. What we're looking for is the volumetric clouds. And boom, shakalaka, milli, vanilli. You are done. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys learned something new. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, how easy was that? ridiculous right so if you want to go ahead and tweak it around you can by scrolling the settings here and i'm going to show you guys a couple of sliders here that you can change you can change the uh altitude make it lower or higher you know if you maybe on top of the mountain the clouds are going to be closer to you because you're on top of a mountain for some reason i don't know why you would want to live up there it's too cold and then you know you can move this around as well the layer height and then the distance from the horizon and then you can do you know all this crazy stuff right here which is cool right so all that stuff and if you're super fancy with your material skills and you want some challenge you can actually create your own material for this so if i go right here i double click the material instance and i'm going to go ahead and go to my hierarchy and you know if you want to mess around and create your own look as far as clouds go you can just you can, you, you can go mess around with that and have some fun. But I'm going to stick with the default setting because I'm lazy. So, yeah, you can, you can tweak it there if you want, which is really nice. And if you, you don't want it visible, you can tick it on and off if your computer is hurting. And speaking of, let's go ahead and turn on our FPS here just to see how much power this thing is taking. So, um, yeah, that's the volumetric cloud. And what I'm going to show you right now is just something kind of cool. If you want to create a little time lapse, you know, something like that, it's really popular with uh, filmmakers right now, is go ahead and create a new sequence, change it to 24 FPS because any other FPSs are just, you know, treason, I think. So, uh, you can animate this, which is cool. So, if I go to the direction of light, I'm going to go ahead and add that track add sequencer, add directional light. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a track and I'm gonna do a transform. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a keyframe right here in the zero key, just like After Effects. It will go like 120 seconds, which is like, I don't know, something seconds. If I go to 120, I'm gonna create another transform there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna rotate it here on the pitch and see what happens. You actually see the clouds moving when I'm animating this here so you can see look at that how freaking cool is that so I can actually go from that and animate it from this so if I press play you actually have a little bit of time lapse going on how freaking wicked is that I mean you don't have to sit outside for a whole day and wait for your camera to take a time lapse. You can 
you can do it all in here sitting in your boxers in front of your computer how amazing is that guys but yeah that was just really a little quick tutorial and overview of the new uh, volumetric clouds inside Unreal Engine 4.26. With that being said, I am going to start making a tutorial for beginners in Unreal Engine 4.26. I'm pretty much going to create an entire series for beginners for free. I was waiting for the 4.26 to come out to do it because as far as I know, it is the last version before Unreal Engine 5. So if you are interested in that free series, Unreal Engine 4 tutorial, go ahead and subscribe in my channel so you'll be notified when I am uploading those videos.